In this next exchange, the focus tightens around pressure points, energy policy, global economics, and the hard math behind clean infrastructure. Sam doesn't sugarcoat it without affordable, scalable battery technologies, the US can't remain competitive and I drill into the real-world implications of how pricing, investment, and regulation shape innovation as much as chemistry ever could. This is the edge of the conversation where the belief meets bottom line and the stakes could not be high. I think it will, because if you, if you, even though you've, you've tried to block Chinese batteries and Chinese solar, there's still the critical mass point where you double, you double the amount of production and it will, it will contribute to continual cost declines. So even though, I mean, you've still got all these battery factories, but if you look at all the battery factories in the United States, put them all together, all the planned ones, mm -hmm. and you can look at their output, it's far more than, imagine if every single electric car, or sorry, every car in the United States, let's assume they were all EVs, every single mm -hmm. one of them, it's all 16 million every year. So you're selling about 60 million, 16 million cars a year. If by 2030, you said, okay, all 16 million cars, we need enough batteries for every single one of them, still have, right? You would still have 60% left over. There is so many battery factories being planned. Now the Trump administration could cancel this, but there are so many that when I last checked, you had massive overcapacity. And if you're building out that many batteries, and if that does happen, the cost for those batteries will decline enormously because of the scale. And then I think that that might encourage this whole energy storage market. Plus, remember people have an EV, they want to be, they want to be, and they have vehicle to grid cap capacity, right? We know Teslas have them in, it in built in them. We've tested it in, here in Australia. Teslas are capable of it. In fact, pretty much all EVs, if you use SIG Energy's battery system, you can use DC, you can use DC charging on your EV at home, DC to DC, and mm -hmm. you can charge your EV at up to 22 kilowatt um, at home. Uh, if you've got an EV and you've got a massive battery, why would you want to use the grid? Why would, why would you want to pay when you don't have to? Why would you not want to use solar to charge it and then be able to power your own house off a 120 kilowatt pickup truck battery? I hear what you're saying and it, and it makes logical sense. I think what's going to click for the US or when it's going to click is the price of energy per watt to the actual entire grid is what's going to have to drive all of that battery storage and that requirement to go into battery tech.